How's you going boys? Uh, back at the camp here with another little video for another little project. Have a walking stick here. Uh, lots of people have walking sticks. You can buy them, but I don't like to buy stuff if I can make it. So I had a handle off a shovel, wooden handle off a shovel. Cut her off to a good length for walking. Uh, this is for my wife, so it's a little shorter than what I would use. Uh, I had some twine, some cord. It was bigger than string, smaller than cord, so I call that twine. Anyhow, uh, I started on here. I just tied a, I guess it was a clove hitch or something on there. And I carefully wrapped uh, the twine around the handle. Hold up here where you can see it. I wrapped, uh, started here with the knot, wrapped the twine down until it was about like a hand width uh, grip. And then I tied another knot at the end and uh, made sure it was good and tight. And then... Then what I did was I varnished the whole thing, and I varnished it, not Verithane, but I put actual spar varnish on it. So that covered up that twine pretty good, and it, uh, it's it been there now for two or three years and hasn't frayed, so it's been good. Uh, then I put a little strap, I had some web strapping. Put a little strap on the end of it there, just so that the missus could uh, put it over her hand and hold it. She's getting kind of wore out, see that's kinking it there. But Anyhow, you just slip your hand through there, so you can hold uh, the stick like that, so it won't fall up. A little screw in the top to hold that on and then uh, she, my wife does a lot of walking in the winter and, and even in the summer when you're walking it's good to have a pick on the end of your stick so you can kind of so that it won't slip right you can jab it in the ground it will stay there now this pick it's a uh, it used to be about an inch long it used to, look at it used to be about an inch long and it's wore off a lot of miles on the stick so I'm going to change that today that's the little project just going to change that out and uh, show you what I do to do that Okay, just take a break from my little job here in this video because I want to recommend a good friend of mine, Logger John Zero One. Logger John Zero One. He's uh, got a good channel. He he lives in Ontario and he cuts wood, cuts uh, trees and blocks them into firewood. And the best part is he's got a Massey Ferguson. What a beauty old machine that is! Nice Massey that he takes into the woods with him when he's doing his wood. That's a great thing to do, man. I gotta tell you, and. Uh, He's got a great sense of humor too. You check out his channel, you'll find out. You get good tips on cutting wood, <laughs> and you get a chuckle or two as well. Logger John 01, I recommend him highly. Check him out. So this pick, all that is, it's a, it's a stud like this. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what you call them. It's a wood thread on this end and a machine bolt thread. I think it's a quarter twenty on this end. Uh, so what I do is I'm just going to screw this part into the wood, into the end of the uh, walking stick. And then I'll go to the grinder and grind a little bit of a point onto this so you can pick that in the ice or ground or whatever you're walking over, right? So that it'll give you a better grip. So in order to do that, though, I have to take the old one out. So I'm just using vice grips on this because uh, I don't care much uh, about damaging the threads because I'm going to be uh, grinding the threads pretty well right off it anyhow. So that's all that's left of the other one. You see the difference in the length. So, uh, yeah, she's, she's got to wear out. She's due for a new one, so I'll do that. Down there you're happy. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so just going to put that in there. And again, I don't care about damaging the threads. So I'm going to clamp the old waste grips on there. Run that in. Uh, when I first made this, I tried to find the center of the, of the stick. And then I drilled a pilot hole in there, just so that when I'm screwing this in, I wouldn't uh, split the wood. So all right, that's in, and I screwed it all the way, all the way into the end of the wood thread. So now I'm just going to go to the grinder and buff a point on that, and I'll show you that when I get back. So there we are. You can see that nice little point on that. So now, when she's out walking, she can pick like uh, ice or mud or dirt or rock or just about anything. It'll get a little grip on it, get a little resistance, and that's what you want when you're walking. Anyhow, that's it. Hope you like it. Quick little. Uh, well, I wouldn't call it a project. I'd just call that a repair. And we do a lot of that here at the camp, too. Uh, repairs. And, uh, you know, as we're repairing, we're inventing. Because, like, it's uh, an hour's trip to town. So we don't want to, in the middle of a project, that have to go to town, take an hour off. By the time you get to town, buy the whatever you need and then come back. It's too late to do anything. So we just make a lot of what we need right here. Or, not a lot of what we need. Whatever we can make here, we make here. And we come up with some uh, patches and stuff. So also, uh, 
important if you like the video uh, click like if you don't like the video click dislike uh, I'm still looking for comments one way or the other thanks guys see you all later